What's going on everyone? What's going on everyone? Welcome back. My name is Cruiser and um let's check stuff there. I did but as well as I could to take out the bucks. I am back with still some Wolf shards among us. embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician. And I'll let us play off. It's okay. Welcome back. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded oh, sent right. home. I just remember. I couldn't, I couldn't what remember what happened. Though. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act okay, like you okay. normally do. Everything in I'll my stop, life. I'll stop. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial <laughs> roof. Awkward. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use yes, it. Yes, Begby, that's how it happened. We know this. That's exactly how it happened, Peg, did you know? Rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy no, to catch No, it won't. There's always so, a catch. I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just... It's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you. Not are, sure. I, it's just. I don't know. One, it's too early in the season. It just doesn't make for sense. it to be Crane. It just He's, feels too early. He was a and conniver, a, a coward. And Crane a liar. just doesn't seem. Uh, and I'll always well. hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. <laughs> but murdering prostitutes. Uh. Everything okay over there? Ah, uh, Buffy's got a boo -boo. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight. Oh, <gasps> what happened? That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. There's a hanging man, is him? Time heals everything Jim. eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask yes, you a question? Yes, of course. It's kind of personal. On you go. Sure, and certainly. I don't want to offend you. Offend me? Sure. Well, now I'm offended. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know so what if i do you think we're broken or something is that it i don't know maybe we're just not cut out for this world we can't eat each other's hearts anymore bigby this can't be like the old days we have to make it better uh, guys, what? we have a problem. Fuck's sake, we what tell you to do one I thing. Can't finish the mirror, it's missing a piece. What See? do you mean, missing a piece? <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's not here. It's just I not that easy, you can't just build it and then, oh, boom, I can't everything's back this. to normal. Oh, I saw Fucking hell. something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. What? 
Or what? Buffkin? What Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? <laughs> we have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Ooh, boo, 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 she was filed. We still this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Oh, Buffkin. You little cunt. You sit there and think of what you've caused, Buffkin. Now I feel kind of bad. Let me speak to him. It's okay. Hi, Mr. Bigby. That was me I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glands <laughs> Why didn't you try and stop him? Fucking what hell! What do you want me to do? Yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Oh, okay. touche. Okay. He's getting cheeky. Happen. Stop. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Do I mean it? Yes. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. Imagine that all along Buffkin was a murderer. Oh man. I would lost so much sleep over that. Just the, the last Buffkin episode. It's just Buffkin. It's just Buffkin. Call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch. Or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Ichabod Crane. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here couldn't could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents and I have to admit No I have to admit I can see why the farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think you should have made it priority best. Wheeling Smith Hmm. Fucking hell. Dear Ichabod Crane, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in it. Nope. Fuck your air conditioning. Dear Crane, you said you'd pay to have the pl plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is. And I've already been waiting for days, not to mention, you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big cracks in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. You probably did not understand what I just said. Only when call was But fuck it. Right, what else we got? No, the draw. It's glued together. It's, it's glued together. That look he gave her. More fucking goddamn reading. The ring of a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah, Buffkin. Do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every oh, digital wee. item not obtained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. 
Why didn't you mention this well, before? Well, shit just got fucking... No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hung over. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's hung over. He's at the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. 2 a.m. tonight? I mean, is 2 a.m. in the morning. this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? Bluebeard, get the hell out of here. This is none of your business. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. Uh he took a piece of the mirror Ouch. so we can't use it. <laughs> the only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch in the morning. AM or PM? PM. AM. Cunt. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you oh, in charge oh, in the first get Fixing the fuck. mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen Who's to Who's he shooting office. at? Who you can't. Who elected this decision? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... Who elected her to spin my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. There's much bigger things to be worrying about right now, all right? Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. He's hot with feelings. Well done. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be Cub stomped. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? Mm. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. Fuck. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. Wow, he's you a can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick up Who's he showing up? <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his grapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. 
I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. So you leave Crane alone, then we'll leave you alone. <coughs> you and all you. No, I'm better off dealing with She says people. she's better off dealing with things, right? So, so she's Crane fine. Alone, then we'll leave you alone. You and all your acquaintances. But if I go to Dee's house, if I go to Dee's office, so you they'll probably alone, kill me. Then we'll leave you alone. Oh, Crane's apartment, I'm doing it. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. A motherfucking big B. That was a challenge right here. So, let's exit and go to... Fuck, we're here already. Ah, I can record a bit longer. So, room 1902 is no the apartment... Uh, oh, the door's open. Fuck, that's bad. That's bad. Must not fly. One hour and fifty five minutes left. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. Not a view. That view doll. Same brand we found in the open arms. Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. I thought you kind of put the little. Stuff over there. <laughs> Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm not watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. Whoa, man. <laughs> this is f Oh, this is fucked up. Fly! Oh. Look, the crooked man is a happy compadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. This so, hasn't been used in years. Every day by Friday, that would be great. All right? Everybody can stay upright. I forgot. In the meantime, I used to teach in the old days. The light on, pal. See ya! The Headless Horseman. What was that for? But what was that key for? About here. Over here. 
so I know, but this will make me leave if I go out here like that. What the fuck is this? Ah! Alright, fine. Hmm. Does he have a bedroom? Really? That'd be the safest place to check. Bedroom? Bedroom. Ha ah, ah. ha! Oh, come! Hey, come! What's that? Jack? The wow. fuck are you doing here? It is just unbelievable running into you here. Jack, I mean, you've been stuck. Of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. You know, I've always wondered... Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, mm. but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. <laughs> you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. Is this really fucking necessary? Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? The fuck? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Are you working for Crane? And tell the truth. No, I'm not working for anybody. Just take it easy. You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Hey, Ron? Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, squeeze through, my also. It's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. I may not know why you're here, but go on. I'm listening. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested in. Word on the street says he's got mm. a witch in the city. I can tell you who she is, hmm. if you're interested. Information hmm. on the price, though. Alright, tell hmm. me. Let's I'll get two hundred dollars. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Why no, okay. incident under the I gotta keep the money. Fine. You got a deal. I do. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. I hope you're not lying to me, Jack. Scout's on her, Sheriff. Uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You've got to be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, wow, well, I've been recording too long. You, yeah. in with. you have to end this up in a bit. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Head hey, back. Oh, come on. Deer. Do you that 
like that. To yourself like that. I, I, I was. I think that's on page two. The white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn. It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes when I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? That it? Pick me? Hi. Are you still here? Okay. We're in here, Snow. I've got food. Wait, who else is What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. Hey, right. I'm gonna go get food. And I'll return back. Hello. Welcome back. Um, I did just get some food. You know, so let's finish this up till I get to some sort of checkpoint. Then she hasn't burned it. And there's probably yeah, a few things left here. Place. Don't know. We know they're involved, and we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. We will. Hang on, Jack. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Well, looks like that. Yeah. Only a few seconds. But, you know, um, the lighting's quite bad. I don't know why that is. But, <laughs> that looks like it's from me. And uh, we'll lead off from the Tweedle Brothers office. I'm Chris, guys. If you like, do hit that like button because it does always help me out. And uh, let me know you enjoyed it. And I'll be posting more videos every day, except from Sundays. I didn't post on Monday there because YouTube has been weird. Fuck, <laughs> get hiccups. But, anyways, I'm Chris. I'll see you all. Have a nice day. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it isn't...